Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Melissa and Lucas here. Um, we are here on kind of a sad reason um, today, but we wanted to make a video and talk to you about VBS. Um, as many of you probably have been wondering, about, and we've had some questions, some people request, um, you're probably wondering what's been going on in our heads about VBS this summer. And um, at this point, unfortunately, we have to make a really tough decision and we've decided um, to cancel the event uh, this summer. And we have a couple of reasons why we decided that was the best course of action and why we're making that decision at this point. Yeah, for um, the kids program, if you think about trying to keep little kids six feet away from each other, that's not ever going to happen. Um, it'd be really hard to do snacks or games or anything and try to expect the kids to have germ safety or any kind of social distancing. Um, it's really hard for them to understand. But even the participation would probably be low. At this point, I wouldn't be sending my kids anywhere. I don't know that my friends would be sending their kids. So lower participation, it'd be harder to get volunteers um, for us in the day program. And it'd be harder for you guys to build relationships, for teens to build relationships um, with kids also, because you can't put them on your shoulders, you can't hug them, you can't hold their hand, you can't get keep them from running off by you know touching them. So it, it puts a variety of restrictions on the event that would really change what the event looks like. Yeah, and the same is true for our teen evening programs. Um, if you think about, you know, the fact we probably couldn't house together and keep social distancing guidelines, um, the fact that we also would probably have less people who are able to do it, um, and even the activities we do, even if we were able to find a way to house or figure out that whole part, we, it'd be really hard to do activities. We don't even know what the regulations are going to look like um, this time via VBS, how many people we can even gather in. So there's all kinds of moving factors, and we've taken a lot of time to decide this. Um, we were holding out for as long as we could, but we've seen other programs doing a similar thing. We talked about it um, in, our, in our leadership and staff, um, and it just kind of was a general consensus that this is the right thing. Um, and so the reason we've been holding off on letting you know about this, we were just hoping that at the last minute, maybe something would change and we can make it happen. But this year, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to hold off. However, we, will, we do wanna talk about both of us about some ideas for things we can do maybe instead of VBS this year, because it's our hope that we'll be able to do um, at least something, you know, through this. So I don't know, Melissa, if you want to talk about some ideas for yeah. what you guys might do. Make no mistake, we are sad about this, um, just as much as you guys are. There are parts of VBS that we love and look forward to every year. Um, so we will be missing out on it as well, but we hope to provide some kind of fun activity. I think the kids will do something like maybe massive water balloon wars or something like that, but we have to wait for the governor to lift restrictions and figure out what the church is doing. So we're kind of trying waiting on those for dates and times and plan exact plans but that's yeah. the plan something fun and the same thing with the team program i mean we are stuck kind of with the restrictions and with everything going on you know we would love to to do something and not just because we don't to replace vbs but something to celebrate the fact when we get to spend some time together we're back together um i know everybody is looking forward to not having video chats anymore and be able to hang out and have fun. And I guarantee you that we are going to celebrate that when the time comes. Um, but for now, we're just asking that you be patient with us. You be patient um, and be praying, um, not just for this, but for our whole world. There's a lot of things we've had to sacrifice. Everyone's had to sacrifice during this time. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we just, we just encourage you to keep praying for people's health, but also for these programs and those things. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's it uh, for our video. So, well, so we're, thank you for watching. Um, if you do, this is the last thing, I just remembered it. Um, if you have any questions or any thoughts, any concerns, you want to talk to us directly, um, don't, you know, steer clear from talking to other people, come talk to one of us. You know, if it's about the team program, talk to me. If it's about the children's program, talk to Melissa. We'd be happy to answer your questions, hear your concerns, hear your thoughts. Um, uh, but this has been a decision that we spent a lot of prayer and a lot of time on, and we are pretty firm in it. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys stay safe and stay healthy.